Rachel Maddow over promises, under delivers on Trump tax story. MSNBC reporter Rachel Maddow got a hold of President Trump's 2005 tax returns and released them on air. USA Today I'm a fan of MSNBC's Rachel Maddow, but on Tuesday she overpromised and underdelivered on a story about President Donald Trump's tax returns. Those returns, of course, are at the moment the holy grail of political reporting. While Trump is under no legal obligation to do so, other candidates have released their returns as a matter of course. Trump's refusal to do so raises all sorts of conspiracy theories what could be found there. Ties to Russia Whom he owes what? Maybe he is not as rich as he claims. Tuesday afternoon mad out who hosts the Rachel Maddow show on MSNBC, tweeted, Breaking, we've got Trump tax returns. Tonight, 9 p. M. E.G. The internet, in its usual fashion, lost its collective mind. Finally, we're going to get to the bottom of this, the real story, the follow the money trail that will explain everything and prove that Trump is the puppet of. Oh? Wait a second. Less than an hour later, Matt now followed up with this tweet. What we've e got is from 2005 the President S1040 form details to come tonight 9 p.m. Eastern Time, MSNBC. Well, that s a different kettle of fish entirely, like buying a Led Zeppelin album of the band's greatest hits and finding out it's some inferior live recording. Hig. When the show aired, Maddow took her sweet time to get to the meat of the story, such as it was. Again, social media went nuts, but this wasn't really Maddow's fault. You may think she is some kind of liberal communist lefty, and she may well be, but she doesn't do her show for free. Her job, and MSNBC's job, is to keep you watching for as long as possible, though she really was pushing the limits with an overlong intro. When she got down to brass tacks, it was indeed two pages of Trump's 2005 tax form, delivered to reporter David J. Johnston by an anonymous source. They revealed that the president paid $38 million in tax on an income of more than $150 million. Trying to beat Matt out to the punch, the White House released a statement saying that making the return public was illegal. Johnston appeared on the show and talked about the returns and how he got them. They discussed the idea that perhaps Trump had sent them to Johnston. Again, I'm a fan of Matt Yass. She does good work. And I think there's a story here somewhere. Trump should release his taxes from the last five years, and the only people who disagree are blindly partisan and will forgive anything he says or does in their name is Legion. His continuing not to do so raises all kinds of questions that could easily be answered. That said, I think MSNBC rushed into the story, when they could have taken more time and done a better, more thorough job. And I certainly don't think they should have bragged, we have Trump's tax returns when, while they did, sort of, it was at best a misleading tease. We are so hungry for real information now, not the misinformation the White House peddles is a matter of course, that when you've got a story, you've got to do it right. And do it right the right way. <laughs>